friends. So now <clears throat> I'm going to be making my breakfast. I put in the description that it would be sweatpants oatmeal. So to give you a little review as to what in the world sweatpants oatmeal means, there's a podcast um, that Serene and Pearl, who wrote the Trim Healthy Mama Plan, they're sisters from New Zealand. They live in North Carolina. No, they live in Tennessee. Excuse me, Tennessee. And they are just sweet as pie. And anyway, they, um, Pearl one day was talking about the recipes that just make her feel good. They just, she just loves them. They're comfy like her sweatpants. And so that came sweatpants oatmeal. Good morning, Mitzi. So sweatpants oatmeal is just one of Pearl's go-to meals that she loves. So that's what we're going to make. And if you can see right here on my cabinet, I have some things posted um, here. So this is the recipe for sweatpants oatmeal. And um, I'm just going to get it going on my stove over here. So um, the recipe, I think there is a video of them making this. I don't, it's not a uh, copyrighted recipe, so I can tell you the ingredients. So it's um, half a cup of oats, and then a cup of water, and then half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. And that's going to come to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and cover it. I'm going to turn this on high. And it's going to come to a boil. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see what we're talking about here. You had oatmeal. With oh, well, I'm glad that you like it now. I'm glad that you took that suggestion, Mitzi. It's really good to have. It's a good email um, to have. Okay. So this, um, we are going to let these three things come to a boil. We're not going to stir them. And then we'll let it sweat for a while until it comes to the consistency that I like, if that makes sense. Okay, while that is going on, I'm going to make um, a shake. It's called the Chamomile Cuddle Shake. And um, it is in the Trim Healthy Table Cookbook on page 487. So if you have that cookbook, you are welcome to do that. I wanted a shake that was an E because our oatmeal is an E because of the oats. Oh, and please make note that my hair is not in a wad on top of my head. Do I get a gold star? <laughs> so anyway, this morning I was just wanting something. And um, what they ask you to do, of course it has chamomile tea in it, and I'm making the baby shake. This recipe offers a full shake or a baby shake, and I wanted a baby shake. So um, I'm brewing my tea here, I already started that, and um, so we're gonna get started making that. Let me look at my direction. So if you have the Trim Healthy Table book, you can look at this too. Okay. All right, so I've gotta wait just a few more minutes to let that, um, Brew. So, Mitzi, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Mitzi, taping, my, taping things inside cabinet doors is so smart. Now, like these three cabinets that I have right here, glass ones for my pretty things, so that's really the only one. I do have this one right here, and I hang, I put a little um, thumbtack right here, and I hang my clipboard that has my menu plan in it right there. You gotta use you gotta use all the space in your kitchen you know what I'm saying you simmer your oats okay yeah that's good to do it's looking good that's the only thing about oats is that it does take a little while to cook there are a lot of overnight oats recipes um, in both the cookbooks and online I'm sure there's a crock pot oatmeal recipe that's really good good morning Tara how are you um, Tara, don't remember, don't forget that at 8.30 in my Trimtastic Holiday class, uh, group, <laughs> we're going to be talking about menu planning. Stephanie, I'm all about a clipboard girl. And what I do is I have, if I have to print any recipes, I just put that behind there. And then if I'm going to the grocery store, I, um, I separate uh, my foods, my categories in the grocery store. And that's how I shop 
um, at the grocery store. And I, I make that list too, even if I'm doing um, online, like uh, Walmart pickup. You had two good strawberry yogurt in her coffee. Uh, Mitzi, I really need you to go to the Trim Healthy Mama website and order a bag of Middle Mountain coffee. It will change your life. Like, I'm having this shake, but um, my snack at about 9.30 is going to be a collagen coffee with cream. I'm so, so excited. And you can have fuel pull with a little bit of cream. It's still going to be fuel pull because this is E-mode. That's what I was talking about. So, Trim Healthy Mama E-mode, you're going to have healthy carbs, okay? Healthy carbs are oats, and uh, there's going to be a banana in this shake, and so that's how you get the E. All right, so my my chamomile tea is happy and brewed, and I just this is kind of how I do it. It's just off the bowl of water. Actually, I just got a quarter cup of water, hot water out of my Keurig. That's all I did. I ran some water through it and got that. So now I'm going to sprinkle the gelatin. I'm having trouble seeing this morning. There we go. There's like a glare on every surface of my home here. All right, the gelatin. All right, I'm gonna stir that up. Gelatin is tricky. You've got to get it when it's um, happy, <laughs> or it'll be clumpy. Tara, I'm excited too. I hope that y'all, you guys that are in my Trimtastic Holiday group are enjoying it. We um, we did some shout outs of NSVs yesterday. Tara had some great NSVs. Tara, you are welcome to share that on here this morning. That is, I'm so proud of you. Okay. <clears throat> and then add the oil. So I have my MCT oil here. There's a couple of options. Um, Listed on the recipe. Let's see. I like how they do that. You can use this or this. You can use this or this. Whoop, there it goes. All right, now I found that if I just tip the lid like that and I put that really on low, that it kind of cooks a little quicker. And I don't mind my oats being soggy, but you do what you need to do for you, okay? All right, I'm gonna stir that up. Let's see what else. Hey, Miss Marilyn, good morning. I'm making oatmeal and a chamomile cuddle shake. All right. This is gonna go in my blender cup. I'm gonna scrape all that goodness out because I don't wanna lose any of my protein from my gelatin. And I use just gelatin from Trim Healthy Mama. Like I've said thousands and times before, I just trust their quality of their ingredients and that's what I go with. So you do what you need to do. Miss Donna, second breakfast. Miss Donna, I love you and your second breakfast. Oh, today's Miss Donna's birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Donna. Woo. Terry, yeah, I can talk about how I made the oatmeal. It's um, You can Google THM sweatpants oatmeal, and there um, will be plenty of things that pop up. It is not a copyrighted recipe. So in the pot here, I have half a cup of oats, half a cup of almond milk, and a cup of water, and I brought it to a boil, and now it is sweating. Um, and whenever it comes to the, the consistency or whatever that I like, I'm going to stop it, and then I'm going to show you how to finish it, okay? I'm checking my time. All right, now we need um, some almond milk. I oh, already brought it over here. I was helping myself and didn't remember. Okay. Almond milk, done. This is a third of a large banana. This is a small banana to me, so I'm gonna do about three quarters of it. And I really don't think it's going to hurt anything, guys. All right, put that in there. Two donks of sunflower left. Of, I don't know. I think I've been saying this wrong. It stresses me out. I need to say, I need to learn how to say this. I say le, lesa, lesithin. I think that's how you say it. Let me look and see. Lesithin. Yeah, lesithin. That's right. Remember, if you get the Trim Healthy Mama um, teaspoon, 
measuring spoon set, you get the donk. That is one thirty-second of a teaspoon. Now, that sunflower lecithin is optional, so don't get stressed out about that. All right, and then we're going to add a little collagen. This is optional too, but y'all know I love my collagen. And it says half a scoop. So good. We got my scoop right here. The best way to do Trim Healthy Mama is to not be stressed out about it, guys. It really is. I'm just telling you. Don't be stressed out. Okay, so we got our chamomile tea. We got our water. We had gelatin, our, our MCT oil, our almond, unsweetened almond milk, our banana, our lecithin, and our collagen. That's it. So now we're going to put the top on. I'm going to move my blender up here a little bit. All right, before we do that, let's take a little peek. All right, that's doing really good. All right, then we're going to buzz, buzz, buzz. Hold your ears, ladies. Okay. All right, now we're going to put some mineral salt. And then some vanilla. This shake is going to be so good. I've never made this before. Um, it was on my meal plan for a snack one day this week. Tara, what day was that? All right. Vanilla. Oh, banana. I wonder if I have any banana. I think the last time I looked for it, they didn't have it at Walmart. Um, and I think I'm out. Because we, we use the banana extract in our BAM cake. I do not have banana extract. Well, that stinks. Let me try. I have another little stash of things in this drawer because my these shape ones don't fit in my little thingamajig. Would y'all like to see my thingamajig? Hold on, I gotta vent that. Okay. I bought these. This thing is called Swivel Store. I bought this on Amazon. I bought like four of them like a crazy person. And I only needed two. Um, ended up, Wes's aunt got the other one. So you just pull it out um, from the shelf, but it turns for you here. And so you can get what you need and, and stuff like that. So it's really cool for your cabinets. And I have a ton, a ton of seasonings and spices and extracts in this cabinet. And in a minute, if we need more time with my oatmeal, I can show you that or I can post a picture. All right, where were we? Oh, we don't have the banana, so we're gonna skip that. Okay, we need some stevia. Where'd my donk go? There she is. And it's gonna be one or two. We're gonna go with two. I love this pure stevia extract, y'all. It's not, it doesn't have that bite, you know? So I really like it. And then, okay, let me double check. All right, we're gonna blend this up and then we're gonna add some water. I mean ice, excuse me, ice. All right, and a cup of ice. So if you'll excuse me a moment, I'm gonna get a cup of ice. This is when you really want to hold your little ears. Hey, Miss Kay, good morning. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. All right, hold your ears. It's going to be loud. And that's it. It says that you can add whey protein. Whey protein grosses me out. I just can't do it. So I don't use whey protein. You are welcome to add that to any of your drinks or recipes, but that's just not how I do. Tastes like a banana shake, guys. It's delicious. 
That's good. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to give my oats a little stir just to make sure they are sticking a little bit. Let me get something here to do that. I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to bring it over here. They're sticking a little bit, but I have... Um, it's my little... I have these lovely ceramic Pioneer Woman bowls, and so it usually just comes right off. All right. So at this point, I put uh, my oatmeal in a bowl, guys. I go ahead and put it in the serving bowl or whatever, the bowl that I'm going to eat out of. Because once I start adding these other ingredients, I'm not going to stir it. And um, I don't really know if there's a rhyme or reason for that, but it's just what I do. <laughs> okay, so that a little bit did stick, but it ain't the end of the world. It'll come right off. Okay, let's see what else you guys are saying. Oh, Tara shared her NSV. I'm so proud of you, Tara. Y'all give her some love. I need some hearts and some likes and love on her. She is a sweet little mama that's doing Trim Healthy Mama. And I am so, so proud of her. So proud of her. She's got a lot of little ones at home. Let's give her some love, ladies. I can't give love right now. I don't have an option for that, but you're awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to do two pinches of salt. And kind of sprinkle it, you know, over your oatmeal there. And then we have two teaspoons of gentle sweet right here and once again I sprinkle that so I want to come out gentle sweet is uh, kind of is I don't know that it's not sticky but it likes to be near itself <laughs> okay gentle sweet then we're gonna sprinkle some cinnamon and the next part Oh, it's right there. Golly gracious. All right. Now, just like my muffin in a mug. Good morning, Michelle. Hey, hey, Margaret. Um, just like I do with my muffin in a mug, um, Pearl likes to incorporate her oil in warm water and then pour that over the top. But just like the muffin in a mug, I just drop it on top. I just wanted to make sure how much it is. It's half a teaspoon of um, coconut oil, so it's not that much. Because this is an E, we don't want to overdo the fat, right? Sorry, let me move all that out of the way. So now this is what it looks like, and now we're about to put the coconut oil. And I just kind of drop little clumps, just like with the volcano muffin in a mug. Volcano mudslide muffin in a mug, whatever. All these names, all these words. <laughs> all right, that's just a quarter teaspoon, so I'm gonna get some more. So a little, a little of this goes a long way, guys, and it really, it helps give a lot of, um, a little extra liquid, I guess you'd say, but it's so good, and coconut oil is so good for your body, for your digestive system, for your skin, for your metabolism. It's a good fat for your brain. It's just so good. So don't ever be afraid of fats. I just um, want you guys to know that. Okay. Now, I have a little announcement to make, peeps. Now that I have, I won't come off my finger. Okay, let me get my spoon. So now you don't, I don't stir it up. If you need to stir it up, stir it up. But I just get a little bite and then I'm gonna give you my announcement. Let me see what else y'all are saying. Sweats pants oatmeal. Yep, you knew you knew it, girl. Oh, that's so good. Okay. So yesterday I did a live video opening the um my box of Trim Healthy Mama stuff, right? And there have been and this this isn't a lot in online land, but it's a lot to me. 1,600 people have watched that video. 
like I said, it's not like a million views or anything, but I was just like, wow. Well, yesterday when I was doing all those cooking videos, I said, Amy, you might need to look into having a YouTube channel. And I was like, no. So I talked to myself a little bit. Do y'all talk to yourself? Well, anyway, I then later had a sweet Trim Healthy Mama lady say, Coach Amy, do you have a YouTube channel? And I said, girl, I've only been a coach since September. I'm still looking into all the things. Hang on. That's a good shake, guys, if you like banana. If you don't like banana, don't do that. Um, so I had a precious, precious client, one of my one-on-one -on -one clients, that I remember had told me she has a YouTube channel. So I text her and I said, YouTube channel, should I do it? Help me out, you know, what do you think? And then she calls me like an hour later. Yes, I mean, she, I didn't even say hello. Yes, do it, do it. And so she talked to me about it. Michelle, you're so precious. Hey, Amanda. Y'all, Amanda is a sweet la mama that I've known for a while. And she, she said that I inspired her to get something in the crock pot yesterday, or maybe it was the other day, I don't know. That's sweet. Amanda, I'm glad you're watching. So anyway, my big announcement is that I have created a YouTube channel, and I, I watched a YouTube video on how to take my live videos and put on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be working on that today, and um, it has been suggested to me to build content on my YouTube channel before I start putting new videos on there. So y'all just um, do me a favor and when you finally see my link, subscribe to that and it would just toot my horn. I would just be so, so thrilled. And, um, but I'm excited. I thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go eat my sweatpants oatmeal and drink my cuddle shake and go talk to some of my girls. So y'all have a great day and happy Friday.